Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. Today we're checking out Alayla Artful Provocateur. Now I don't know if I've done this one yet, but this was one of my like first commander decks that I ever made back when uh, Brawl was a thing. It was like a year or two into my start in commander. So yeah, we got a lot of enchantment support with the enchanting tales from Wilds of Eldraine. And so I decided let's go all enchantment artifact based and uh, see what we can do. We're only running seven creatures in the deck and there's 52 non-creatures. That's because what we really want to just do is play a Layla and then just start playing our enchantments and artifacts because whenever we cast in an artifact or enchantment spell we create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token so it's just a really fun deck to play just to see all your enchantments and artifacts on the board by the time anything goes crazy your opponents are really just not gonna want to deal with anything because once you see your opponent having a huge war state you just kind of give up in life unless they have a farewell or Helios intervention then yeah we're kind of screwed so we're really vulnerable and this deck is by no means super powerful, but it's just a lot of fun. We have a lot of enchantments that draws cards, trial of knowledge, kindred discovery is insane in this deck. Spreading seas, compulsion, omen of the sea, even the new one, home of Gadwick. This has like all the one mana blue spells that can draw cards. Just really cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if there's any enchantments or artifacts that I miss putting in here. So if you like the deck, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and consider watching some of my other videos. I do standard bra and historic bra. If you're into that type of thing without further ado let's get right into it and let's see how the deck does shall we we're up against the first sliver are we playing slivers or are we playing against something else let's keep this this isn't too bad necropotence it's gonna be a while before i can play that arcane signet it's like the third game in a row that i've seen somebody hit an arcane signet on me um i'm gonna leave open mana bluff a counter spell you gotta bluff counter spells against something like five colors Grim Tutor. All right. Gonna let that resolve. Wink, wink. And you even want to, like, kind of pause for a second or two on the card to let them know you have something. Let them know you could have countered that if you so choose. Grasp of Fate, Spreading Seas. Grasp of Fate isn't. Wouldn't be bad. That is a removal spell, but I have Expel the Interloper, so. Yeah, let's get. I, I'll get the Spreading Seas. Spreading Seas could be good. I can hose them on their uh, copper line gorge there. Even though they have the arcane signet. Yeah, they would have played some slivers by now if this was uh This was uh, any type of sliver deck. Maybe not. Maybe they want to wait till they play the first sliver. I don't know. I'm just assuming. Can I play a Layla and have it live? Metallic Mimic. Maybe they are playing Slivers. They actually are playing Slivers. I am very surprised. Alright, let's play the Hostile Hostel. Every time I say the name of this card, I always want to call it Hostile Hotel. I don't know why. Okay, let's... Flowering of the White Tree. Then we're gonna compose. Actually, I'm going to Dawn of a New Age. I was thinking about doing Compulsion, but then I'll have to wait another turn for the Dawn of a New Age. So we'll swing in. Probably going to play First Lever next turn. Yeah, because of the Elven Chorus. Elven Chorus helps them fix their mana. Oh, that's bad. I can't get rid of the board of their board state now with the Expel the Interlopers. It's not good. I'll tell you that. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Exile Effect. It's a good thing seeing you here. Wow, what a what a top deck, huh? That was a hell of a top deck there. It's almost like Arena wanted us to get it. Oh, no. I'm kind of skeptical, man. Are you nervous? Not nervous. Are you skeptical about the shuffler? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so one, two, three, four, four mana. Just please, for the love of all things arena gods, don't let them hit the hasty flying sliver. No, they have to ward. It's ward two. No, it's ward one. Crap. I thought it was ward two.
Well, at least... No, it doesn't even die. I was, was going to say, at least it dies. Uh, we will not pay the two. Play this land. I could wipe the board. That's a possibility. I think I'll be able to survive next turn. If I swing it, I play Kindred Discovery, swing out. I don't need to really draw cards right now, though. So how about I do this? I hostile, hostile, sack the Alayla, put it in the command zone, remove perpetual effects. Then we're going to swing out at, up top there. And then since they have one card in hand, I'm going to... They get that hasty flyer sliver, though. I'm going to be mad. I could choose three and they get to keep... Oh, they, they get to keep their whole board state. No. Let's just wipe the ward. So, the thing is, they had all that mana. And so... I feel a lot better about them... Just playing a sliver here. Like, playing the first sliver back here. Uh, not gonna pay the two. Play the Ganjo. I'm gonna play one with the multiverse. Play copy enchantment. I could play copy enchantment, copying the uh, smothering tithe here. Could also make another copy of one with the multiverse. It's a tough call. Let's do copy enchantment. Smothering tithe. If I make a copy of one with the multiverse, will I get, will I get to pit, uh, play? Will I get to play two two things? For free each turn. Cause if I could, then that would that would be a freaking crazy. That would have been the right thing to do there. Scheming symmetry. What do we want to put on top of our library? That's the question. That is the number one question. Cyclonic rift. That really hosed them over. That's really gonna hose them over. They can unearth their whole graveyard. Nothing's really that good to hear though. I mean, this one's kind of good, but I guess Leeching Slower is pretty good. Yeah, because they all have unearth, so when they swing, I lose. It's a lot of life, and then this guy makes me lose life too. Whenever creatures oh it's dealt damage, never mind. I thought I said when they deal combat damage. Draw. We will not pay the two. Congratulations. Play the land off top. I have to overload it uh with the mana here. Okay, let's do that. Maybe I should have waited, maybe not, I don't know. Play the immortal sun for free. Play this for two mana. Play the Iron Crag for two mana. Play the Bitter Blossom. Play the Cold Steel Heart. Blue. I'd say that's a pretty good turn for us. I could just play First Sliver, just Cascade again, but that's pretty much going to be his whole turn. But he did get a card on top of his library. Oh, is he... Ooh, that's good. Mask with Nexus. A Mox, now you can play a Dredge Escape Sliver. Or this one. I think we might have this one in the bag. Cyclonic Rift pretty much put, put it away for us. Alright, we draw two cards. Play the land off top. Let's play a Layla. Uh, no. We'll play the Esper Sentinel. Four mana. Play the Ossification for one mana. Get rid of the first liver. I guess I should be should be playing Kindred Discovery. That give me a ton of creature a ton of cards. Let's play Compulsion. Inner discovery, we draw a card. Surgical metamorph for one two mana. 
Let's try the one with the multiverse thing. Oh, okay, yeah, we do actually get to play another spell for for free. Necropotence. Warm Power Stone. Karmic Justice. Oh yeah, we're looking we're looking pretty good now. Get all of our enchantments, baby. Doesn't it make you feel good? Doesn't it make you feel good? So if they tap this one or this one for colored mana, they lose. This doesn't tap for anything because there's no legendary on the field. Looks like we got this in a bag, boys. Enchantments galore. We got some white, we got some blue, we got some black. There's the hasty sliver. There it is. If you're running all slivers, would Mask with Nexus even be worth running? I don't think so. Trash Cave Sliver. And that's gonna be game. GG's, buddy. Enchantment Overload. All it took was one farewell to really do us in, though. Or Helion's Intervention. GG's. We go first. We're up against Mirum. A A A. One two three four five six seven eight nine. That's uh, that's the player's name. We go first. So we might have a slight advantage. Guess we'll keep this. We get two random spells. All right. Let's play the shipwreck marsh. We're gonna scry one to the top. Command tower. We have invasion of Nuka Pena. No, we don't need to use that yet. We really can't. The reason this card is in here is for the backside, the artifact card. I've yet to use it, but I think in this deck it might be pretty sweet. Alright, let's play that white. I'm actually going to ramp instead of playing Phyrexian Arena. Since we have our extra land here. If we didn't hit our land drop, I would probably play Phyrexian Arena to try to get that next land drop. But we got a ramp. I feel like. Okay, we can play good at Lotus, then play the Phyrexian Arena. That's what I call value. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. So they're going to play Mirum next turn. Hopefully we can get a artifact or an enchantment to play. We have almost our deck is full of them. Ooh, double red tells me that they might have some good stuff in their hand. Alright, let's play that land. We're going to play Alayla. Then we're going to play the Iron Craig. We're going to play a Vorpal Sword. Equip the Vorpal Sword to Alayla. And if they would just play, if they play Mirum here, then we actually win because we'll actually be able to activate the Vorpal Sword's ability. We'll see what happens. Oh, they're going to kill Alayla. Yep. Yeah. They still had their other land drop? Lozan. We might have to invasion of Nuka Pena. We could invasion Nuka Pena. We could also key to the archive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we could get rid of Lozan like that. That would be that'd be interesting because the Vorpal Sword gives death touch. Let's do that. And they have to block. They have to block. So, as Death Touch, so they lose the Lozon. <laughs> so we get to keep our invasion of Nuka Pena. The main thing is, I don't think they're going to double spell because dragons cost so much. But if they get like a dragon reducer, then they'll be able to double spell. Oh, they played Mirum. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to get through. We could sort of forge in frontier. I think we just keep. We just keep doing this number. Let's we'll see if he blocks. Okay, he is gonna block. So, I actually did it wrong last turn because he would have. So I could have activated that ability at instant speed, which is really good. And um, yeah, that would have 
that would have allowed me to play some more stuff last turn, so that was my mistake. But yeah. Good game. Vorpal Sword coming in clutch against Miram. If he could double spell, it wouldn't be an issue, but since he can't double spell really, because you need to cast your dragons. And yeah, we got the GG's on that. Good game. Opponent goes first. Warp against Atrax, uh, Praetor's Voice with no black. This is a risky keep, man. If I don't draw that third land and I can't play the Celestis, that's risky. <sighs> and I got the one ring, so I kind of want to keep it. It's it's a risky keep, I'm not going to lie. Scry one to the bottom. All right, so we don't draw a land there. So hopefully we draw a land on this next turn, or at least a turn after. Got two turns to draw one land. Can we do it? And after I play this, all of our lands come in untapped. So don't have to worry about an untapped land. Oh, there we go. Okay, got a black source. That's good because now we got all of our colors. So we'll be able to play the Celestis next turn, which is great. Taking them a while to play. So I play a Traxa. Ooh, by the Battle of Bywater. That might be good. Play the Celestis. Battle of Bywater would, that would actually get rid of a Traxa, so that's really sweet. Ashiok, Dream Render. We don't really care about our graveyard, so... That's no big deal, really. Gets rid of our two of our ramp spells and a land. This is a Trax of Super Friends, I'm willing to assume. We did not hit our land drop there. I guess let's play Phyrexian Arena. So we can try to hope to hit our next land drop. The only bad thing about playing Esper is... Uh, your artifacts? Really, your only ramp source, man. Oh, Tommy, he's going to leave mana up. One time you got a counter spell. Yeah, I'll draw a card, no problem. Get rid of a card. I don't think I'm gonna, gonna be needing Kindred Discovery. At least, a, at least the one ring can actually pro give me protection. That's what I kinda wanna do. So let's Gilded Lotus into uh, Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, I'll draw a card. Another land, I'm gonna get rid of the Hostile Hostile. So now we're looking pretty good on mana. Two lands gone. Just a, just depends on what he has. If he has like a board wipe, a farewell in his hand. He might have a farewell in his hand. Yeah, I'll draw a card. I'll get rid of Rafine's Tower since we have the Chromatic Lantern. Play this island. I want to play Alayla, but I'm afraid it's going to get countered. I guess I play it anyway. If it doesn't, then I guess we're good. All right, sweet. So we'll play Karmic Justice. That's going to be sweet. We'll play Sword of Forge and Frontier. I'll draw a card. Get rid of the Sea Chrome Coast because that's going to come in tapped. I guess they were missing their land drops as well. But any kind of uh, mass enchantment removal is bad for us. They must got some good stuff in hand that's above five mana because they haven't played nothing except this Ashiok. Makes me a little nervous. Uh, let's get rid of the Hollow Fountain. All right, let's play this Hengate Pathway. We're gonna play the Cold Steel Heart. Make a dude. Let's get a black because we have a, one black source. If they destroy the Chromatic Nine turn, of course. Play the Patriarch's Humiliation, get rid of that. I don't know, will they scoop? Um, I actually should have equipped one of my things. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter, because I had to do combat damage to a player. Guess I'll do this. And yeah, we'll go from there. Draw a card, don't mind if I do. Okay, I get rid of the island. Elder Gargara, okay. We could source the plow shat. Uh, sort, sorts the plowshares that I don't want to be mean though. This has protection from green, so I'll swing that. Swift the boots. Play that land. 
put the Swiftabusa on a Layla. You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna activate the Celestis. We'll just go from there. I can source the plowshares if I want. I'm gonna do that now. Yes, use your mana that you didn't want to use in main phase one. Okay, I guess he's just gonna skip his turn. A Johnny unyielding. Put the top three cards of your library, put all non-land permanents into your hand. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the heck was going on there with them, but I mean, they were playing Super Friends, obviously, right? But they didn't play anything. I guess they didn't just want him to die because we had a board state here. They were just, it would just kill him. So I don't know. We had plenty of good stuff in our hand. So GG's. Really quick, just want to give a quick shout out to my members, MTG. If you guys know MTG, she's amazing. Go check out her content. She does Commander and Historic Brawl stuff. Vinny Chase, Bro Floyd, Kenny DH, which also helps MTG on her channel. Marco and Grande, you guys are the best.